John Reed is more my size today. John's really you. They're whittling me down they're, here. They're whittling you down. Listen, you look beautiful today, John. Thank you. Tell well, us about your outfit. Well, I was in Hawaii this summer. They have a wonderful summer theater over there, and uh, beautiful theater. And I did Carousel over there. And I had one of the unique experiences in my career. It should happen to everybody. Fiddler on the Roof preceded us and was doing so well, the producer decided he would just pay me off for a week and let Fiddler on the Roof continue. So I got to play golf and go swimming on Waikiki and, uh, and get paid at the same time. Listen, you look great. Now, what are your beauty secrets? How do you keep <laughs> that slim, trim figure? Well, I'll tell all the ladies. I think that the first thing uh, about anything with your body is, a, is an attitude. Same way I learned as a singer. Uh, for instance, you asked me to sing, which I shall not do, because I'm going to do the rest of the time. I could sing any time without having to warm up or anything else. Can you really? Yes. You could call me tomorrow morning at 6 and say, John, I'm, I, I, I'm beeping you. Let's sing me a song. You promised it, and I would sing for you. Would you? Yeah. I'll call you. Just call right out of bed and, you know, without even making a sound. But that's part of it. You can't do it once every month and buy it. It has to happen during the day. And the one singular best exercise for the gals and for anybody is to hold your stomach in all the time. That's right. And think thin. Think, have, think thin. Well, if you do that, it, shrink, it helps you hold those muscles so that when you sit down at the table, you become conscious of the fact you've got to eat the right kind of food, which is the most important. Now, you can get around all the rest of this stuff. Right combination of food and pushing away from the table is the best exercise. Do you ever eat desserts, John? <laughs> sure I do. Do you? But then you have to watch. If you eat desserts, mm -hmm. then you lay off and the bread. And you have to play golf. Mm -hmm. uh, play golf and don't too much. I love ice cream. I do you? That, that's your hang-up, huh? That's right. Play ice cream. John <laughs> Raid, of course, is in our town playing King Arthur in Camelot. I'm so excited about opening night tonight. Well, this is a it's big opening, you. you know. Oh, this is great. First We're time. having you in First our time. town. That's great. Now, I want to hear about your family, too. Now, where do you make home in I LA? I make home now at New York, the present time, Westchester Country Club. Speaking of the golf, with any golfers, uh -huh. halfway between Westchester Country Club and Wingfoot, <laughs> where I live. And I have a 22-year-old son that's, that's in college and taking off, particularly now, to go just uh, on his own to, to make his own survey of people. It's kind of interesting. He's taking all books. And, yeah, books, walking, bus, and just taking off. No sleeping tents and the whole thing. Well, these kids are something. I then I got a daughter. It's in Radcliffe. She's a student. Oh. Going back uh, this fall. And then the 16, well, she's 19. The 16-year-old boy is uh, just finishing up a tour of, of the uh, Scandinavian and uh, European countries on an east-west study tour. So. Oh, that's great. They're, they're all different and all exciting. Well, it's interesting now, to right. watch young people. John Reed, thank you so much thank for you, visiting Betty. with us. And uh, as I say, I hope everyone will take the opportunity and come down and see you in Camelot. It's a great show. You know, it was President Kennedy's, I think, uh, favorite. Oh, I didn't know that. Tour. Oh, he loved yeah. Camelot. And the music is beautiful, and we have some beautiful people down sure here. Sure they do. So they we do. hope that you'll come down and see John Reed. Thank you, John. Thank you, Betty.